Well, even though we are in the middle of January, it's never too early to start thinking about summer camp here in South Louisiana, specifically here in, uh, in New Orleans, because they tend to fill up pretty quickly. You guys already have open enrollment at the LESPCA, right, Rebecca? We do. Our enrollment's already open, so you can go for all of our summer camps. Now, your summer camps start for kids second and third grade, correct? They do. So second and third grade is Camp Love a Pet, and what Camp Love a Pet is, is just general animal welfare topics and just days of fun and interacting with the animals at our shelter. Then from Camp Love a Pet, it goes to Animal Investigators Camp. And Animal Investigators Camp is a little bit more in depth, and it's for third and fourth graders. And then we jump from there. And they go ahead and they train that dog throughout the whole two weeks of camp, which is great because that dog's getting some much needed training and it's a shelter animal. And they get to have that experience of training a dog. Now, what, uh, t I guess, what month do you guys start initiating your camp? And is it throughout the entire summer? Or? It is. Okay. So each, each month is kind of its own camp. And then this year we have a new camp that's going to be most of summer. And it's for 10th through 12th graders. And it's called Future Veterinarians of America. And what it is, is it's a nice little shadowing program that you get to go around and you shadow our clinic vets and go ahead and see what goes into being a vet and you actually get to go on rounds and participate. Oh that's great it's almost like a little apprenticeship. You do and then afterwards you can go ahead and volunteer at our clinics and help out the clinics. Which by the way it's great on resumes. Yes. In case you need something uh, for those college applications exactly. and beyond. And it also is a great way and we were talking about this uh, during the break to really teach empathy in kids at, at a young age. It really is it instills that empathy and instills in them that animals are they are living beings, and they do deserve all the love in the world and proper treatment. Speaking of needing some love, we got Cinnamon right here, who we is um, a, a feral dog, is what you describe Cinnamon as. She uh, is. So she came in with her two other siblings, and she was just found. She was born on the streets, and we picked her up off the streets, brought her in, put her in foster care to socialize her a little bit, and now she's made her adoption <laughs> debut and ready to go. And she loves to just kind of, like, chill out. She is. So she's definitely couch. a more shy dog and yeah. she does great with other dogs so if you have another dog and you're looking to add a puppy in the family cinnamon would be perfect and how old is she right now she's two months old so right on in the get-go and a great way to maybe get your kids to start with some of the training exercises and whatnot so if you want to have more information about cinnamon or into your family so thank you guys so much for joining us this morning as always we appreciate it thanks for having us and it's a